Hello everyone, I'm Rugby 5 And I'm Sandman99. And we're back in our Madden NFL 2005 franchise as the Lifers year number three week seven. Yes, and last week we beat up on the Pigeons again. Oh, they had it coming. Yeah, but they did manage to score a couple touchdowns. Yeah, on the bullshit run. Is that, that was them, I think. Yep. Yeah, with half half a quarter left in the game, you'd you'd played seven and a half quarters in a row without giving up a, a touchdown, and then they managed to pull off one of those magical long runs, and then they managed to set up another one, and then they tried an onside kick which they made, and uh, then they punted after that. Yeah, well, and then that was the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this week we're up against the Denver Ponies. Oh, look at and that. We, we've got that leaky pass defense now. Yeah, the ponies actually on paper don't look any better than us. So, Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're probably going to mop the floor with them offensively. Yeah, and uh, you'll probably shut them down on, off, on defense as well. I mean, if they throw a lot of flat passes, maybe. Well, we'll just have to see, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I can't remember now. We don't play these guys an awful lot. Yeah, I really don't know how they uh, are going to play. But uh, really for me, I just, as a, def uh, as a defensive player, I just try to uh, play man coverage, get a man on everybody who's up at the line at scrimmage, and then just play constant flat zones all the time. Yeah. That's my strategy. <laughs> and then very rarely you slip in a, a zone defense here and there and you might get an interception or a knockdown or a defensive lineman hitting a wide receiver or... It's all the same. Well, anyway, here we go. And actually in uh, week six was the first week this season where we did not have either an offensive or defensive player as a player of the week. Surprisingly. Yeah. But anyway, it looks like you're now averaging only eight points allowed per game. And uh, my average points for has slipped a little bit. Now I'm below 60. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm above 6.8 now, so, you know. <clears throat> yeah. A great matchup of two teams, a great atmosphere. It's time for football. We're nearing the midpoint of the season, and it's been a great year so far. Yeah, I think, actually, we're past the trade deadline now, aren't we? Oh, yeah, but we don't usually do much for trading anyways. Yeah, no, not really. It was only the, the last season. And to be honest with you, we probably didn't even need that. No, probably not. Well, I guess we ended up with a fullback out of it and a bunch of linemen who actually aren't worth much. <laughs> well, I don't know. From what I saw, I think you actually did make the offensive line better. Well, it was a big focus. But what I found in this game is, generally speaking, the best players that you get are the ones that you draft. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. That guy, Lewis, strong safety, he's a good player. Well, we won the toss. I want to defend this end of the field. Much anticipated game. Ready to begin. You want to defend? Yep. <laughs> You mean okay, I want well, to defend? Okay, well, I want us to defend. Yes. What can I say? I like having the wind at my back on offense in the fourth quarter. Well, I haven't made any changes to my defense at all. I haven't made any offensive changes either. I just think that somehow with the performance that we've both been having so far this season, no changes were really necessary. <laughs> we've solved the game, have we? I think we've broken the game, actually. I kind of did something similar, actually, with my uh, Spitfires. Uh, playthrough that I've been doing on my own because uh, I've won nine Super Bowls in a row and uh, I built that team up to the point where uh, 
I have basically got an all Madden quality team roster wise. And uh, in the, the last season that I played, complete season, my defense allowed just over three points per game. Mm. <laughs> well, we're not quite that good. But uh, yeah, but you got to realize that the highest rank, the highest rated player on your defense right now, excluding Sandman ninety nine, would have been about an average player for the Spitfires after nine seasons, right? Uh, ah, bye bye. Well, oh, he might field that. Maybe. Yeah, he did. Wow. He got a decent return out of that, too. Crazy. You're lucky. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, because the coverage that, that, that I called for that was going in completely the opposite direction. <laughs> but I guess we ended up better off than we would have been if it had gone out of bounds, so... I had a little <laughs> bit of indecision there. I'm like, you yeah. know what? No, we're not going to let two tight ends be on the same side. Uh-huh. If I remember right, I think these guys like to run the ball a little bit, too. If they try it early and get some success at it, they'll keep doing it. Oh! He bounced off me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Grant Brown recovers the fumble and scores the <laughs> touchdown. Let's see if it stands now. I think that was the quarterback who tried to make the tackle there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see if they challenge it. Wow. I think that was a fumble, though. I think that ball came out before he was down. See? Capital B big. Yep. That was completely unexpected. Yeah. I was playing a nickel defense. <laughs> well, and uh, f free safety Grant Brown scores a defensive touchdown. Amazingly. Apparently, he's just fast enough to get there. Yep. Well, managed a little better kickoff that time. Crunch. Just Superman into the guy's shins. Yeah, well, this might spoil their uh, rushing attack now. We'll have to see how they react here. Only one man back. Oh, they're going to keep trying it. Well, let's see what they do here. That guy's lined up pretty deep. I couldn't even see him. In fact, they had they had no running back, right? That's right. They yeah. had they had four wide receivers, and then they had no yeah. running back. Yeah. And they're going to come out in the same thing again here, too. Well, this is kind of a passing situation, right? Oh no, never mind. They got a running back this time. Oh, what was that pass coverage? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I too love to move out of the way when the quarterback throws the ball my way. Yeah. I guess he's he's a real dainty coverage guy. You know, he doesn't want to get hit in the hands too hard. It might sting. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, you're not going to stiff arm that guy. Nope. Up about six yards that time. Five yards to go. Well, looks like they didn't give up on the run right away after that mishap anyway. Peterson comes in motion. Keep it off to the back. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use pull. Yeah, but that's worse than a pull. That guy may hit the loose in your feet. 
Well, I'm going to go back to a nickel here again. Yeah, well, third down and four. That might be a pa Oh, look at that. They tried to run anyway. <laughs> and then they uh, were trying to do the upfield blocking thing, I see. It gives, yeah. uh, he was unable to break Seymour's tackle, though. Yeah, you know, actually, I think that was Boston. And uh, he was playing the flat zone on that side. So well, he just kind of went through the line, and then that was it. That's the thing, though, that upfield blocking thing. I mean, if he doesn't break a tackle in the backfield, then... Uh, they're done. They're, they're done, right? Oh, if good he punt does, coverage. If he does break that tackle in the backfield, then you're done, but, you know. Uh, not generally. I mean, very rarely sometimes, but not generally, because uh, I, I tend to have a, a very layered defense. All right, I rely on multiple levels in order to give me that uh, ability to fill the holes. Wow. -wee. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hmm. That just did not go very well at all. Yeah, I'll say. Maybe there's going to be no 250-yard rushing day today, hey? Well, maybe you'll get a 600-yard uh, passing day. <laughs> Quincy White's breaking tackles out there. Yep. That he is. See, the way they were all shifted the other way, they were all leaning in the opposite direction on that previous shotgun run. Yep. And I thought that I could run around them, right? The classic dive. Yep, we'll just see if we can just take it right up the middle. See, so managed to wall everybody off there, but uh, they still couldn't block that guy running around behind the line, right? Yep. I don't know. It is how it is. Uh-oh. Hello there, Mr. Safety. Yeah, I think they're playing some kind of a zone here. Probably a zone blitz of some sort. <laughs> well, Houston will get you what you need. Was I, let's, let's have a look at that. Was I right? Yep. You yep, see that's him? the safety right there. coming, coming he, right through. Yeah, there he goes. And he came through untouched, too. Like, if I hadn't had this guy here to dump the ball away to, I would have been a dead duck. Yep. <laughs> Although, uh, Rack V5 broke the tackle. <laughs> Surprisingly. Hmm. Well, that was an easy run for a first down. Yep. make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive they're just inside the 20. looks like he's calling an audible surveying the field with the throw there was lots of room there lots of room yeah that was a nice easy pass never seemed to make a bad throw just about every pass is right on the money and I think especially with the uh, accuracy problems that I've been having the last few games, I'm going to try and hit those tight ends on those outs a little bit more. Well, you've got reliable enough tight ends. Well, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. He needs to play a hard <laughs> flat. Yep. And it was that, yeah, it was that block right there. That's right. That block right there. Madden just likes to see all the blocking. <laughs> yeah, he does. Struggling now to make plays. The offense seems to have their number out there. They need to rethink their strategy on defense. Well, this kick is going right where he aimed it. Yep. They have to find a way to get this offense out of their rhythm. All right. So the offense takes over, still trying to figure out this defense. So they have first and ten here. Uh. Only one man in the backfield. Oh, I oh, went, the wrong, went the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just was getting a little too uh, amped up there. Yep, and your safeties had to make the tackle there. Yeah, well, it was a team tackle, so, you know, yep. it worked out. I'm not bitter about it. Ah! <laughs> I think that's Seymour getting Yep, that. that's Seymour. Fought off the blocker and then got in there and sacked him. Yep. <laughs> He's having a good season. Oh! Yeah, see, he was trying to throw the screen there. Actually, uh, I wonder about that, because I did play press coverage on that play. Yeah. So I wonder if, uh, yeah, he was getting jammed. Well, also, though, you can see that he's, you know, like, that was that was obviously a uh, <laughs> short pass anyway. You see how he turned around? Like, he was running a really short hook. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be, like, a four-yard curl or something, but he got jammed ridiculously hard. Yeah. Solid defensive effort. And that was a little bit more aggressive than I normally play those, but I figure, you know, they're coming out in five wide receivers. They have no extra blocking. I can play my zones deep. Ah, oh, maybe I could have returned that one. Ah. But I figured I could, I, I can play my zones deep. I've got three deep coverage, and I can play press underneath and just try to get to him real quick. And just not let him move forward because in those third down and three situations they're as likely to throw a short pass as they are a long one so playing press coverage when you have man coverage out there will give you better short pass defense even if you sacrifice a little bit of your long pass defense yep And really, that's probably what the AI defense should be playing most of the time. If they want to bring more guys down and press hard against the line, they should play press coverage. Leave the safeties deep and play press coverage. Yep, that would be a better idea. Ah, that, that linebacker again. Somebody missed him, eh? Yep. I don't know why that happens, because I my the number of blockers I have outnumber the number of defenders. Yeah, well, you know the the safety blocking thing happens on this team too, right? Yep. Well, at least you had a good, decent dive. Yeah, well, the gap opened up there, but I couldn't quite get through it before it closed again. Otherwise, I might have been able to get three or four more yards than I did. Whoa, look at that hole by McCoy. Yeah, I'm if, watching that. If he can get off the line. It depends on what that dime or that nickel back there does too, right? There you go, you can play the AI's game too. Yep. Well, that pass is more or less designed to be thrown that way, though. 
Like you're you're not gonna throw a deep pass like that down the middle because the safeties will sit back there and they'll just they'll just uh, knock those away or pick them off, right? Yeah. So you have to look, and if you've got a nice open window like that where there's no one anywhere near him, you just throw it at him real hard and hope that he catches it, right? Wow, that looked like that was going to turn into something for a second there, but then that guy didn't dive at you or nothing. I don't know, these guys seem like they're pretty soft. What do you think? Well, like I said, they're... they're uh, their defense, like, actually both their offense and their defense are not rated any higher than ours. Yeah, it just seems to me like this is going to be another day at the office, huh? Pretty much. About the only thing that will stop us from beating up on these guys really bad is if they come out with a decent game plan, like, uh... Although they didn't hold it up for the entire game, the Pigeons, the last time we played them. Defensively, they came out and they had a better plan. And they they stuck to it for a little while. But eventually the wheels came off for them because they didn't keep playing what, the way that uh, was giving them success, right? Yep. And the, what was giving them success was keeping the corners out wide and keeping the safeties back deep. Looks like he's changing the play. But now they're just like, run the toss play. Although I guess you're going to run the dive here then. Yeah, well, they have a, the corners out wide there, so there's not much point in trying to toss the ball wide. Because I'm not going to be able to, uh, you know, like run a, a toss play against that. See here, they shifted the line to one side, so I might be able to really quickly run around the left side there and pick up a couple. Well, if you're lucky too, your fullback might run over the corner. Oh, except nope. the, unfortunately you made contact with that linebacker instead. Actually, that's the strong safety. Oh, is that the strong safety you yeah, made contact he, with? Yeah, he looks like a linebacker out there, but he's basically, he's the strong safety. Ah. Uh. He's like the superstar player on this team's defense, right? Easy touchdown. Martin will get it done for you. Yeah, in my experience, that's the best way to handle the goal line defense is just run straight at it. If you try and do cute stuff like throw uh, little passes and that kind of thing when you're inside the the two or three yard line, you're probably asking to throw a, an interception. Yeah. Generally speaking, if I'm further than about four yards away, like like uh, third and goal from the four or third and goal from the five, then I'll try a pass, and I do have a few pass plays designed to work from that area of the field but I'd much rather just run the ball and if I have to settle for a field goal right <laughs> see now they're going to come out in this uh, two tight end oh this is a single back big again so this is fine Yeah, I'll just come out in my regular nickel and we'll do this kind of thing Yeah, I think I remembered right. These guys do like to run the ball, and they'll you'll, you'll until they get really, really far behind. You're going to see a fair amount of running. Yeah. 
Well, okay. Whatever. success on third down so far third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play when you convert it gives you not quite yeah i should i didn't have time to uh shift the line over like i wanted to well they they actually chose a uh good play to do that too right because even against densely packed formations, like that's why I, I was just saying the best way to handle a goal line formation is to run straight at them. And really in any short yardage situation, that's the best way to handle a densely packed defensive line too, right? If all you need is a yard, just go straight at them. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. And you know, that's the kind of production that every coach is looking for. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You gotta have good oh, you almost got him that time. Well, maybe I caused that incompletion. Maybe I'm lucky there. Yeah. I, I made a contribution to the pass defense. It didn't look like that was very well covered. Okay, they're coming out in this, and this is going to screw up my man coverage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, the thing about these guys is that they are uh, somewhat willing to run in situations like this, too. And third and four... Uh, is not necessarily a bad down to run oh, from. What was that <laughs> coverage? I think that the uh, guy got turned around by the play fake, probably. Right? Number 26 there? Boy, oh boy. I think he got confused by the play fake. And you know what, though? I'm not going to bitch about play action in this game because these guys have run the ball at least a dozen or... 14 or 15 times so far in this game, right? Well, I guess I should just be grateful that he uh, managed to make the tackle after. So, in this particular case, as far as I'm concerned, the play action did exactly what it was supposed to do. Right? Only one man in the backfield. Ooh. Oh, that's a fumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh I'm not really sure what the hell happened there, but they left that they didn't leave that tight end in the block. Yeah. Yeah, I think he he tried to throw that ball away. Oh, look at this. And he got pounded and just it just popped out like a yeah, or you know. or you caught him when he was uh, trying to throw the ball away, right? Some of these guys have natural abilities that you just can't teach. Second and seven. Well, I guess I'll take this pass for three yards. I don't like it when that safety comes up to and shows the blitz like that. Looks like he's changing yeah. the play. Well, especially when they combine it with his own defense. Yeah. Well, you're getting your three yards and your two yards. Yep. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. They have to get the ball inside the 45 to convert to the first down. The visiting team come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Oh, no cigar. Well, at least you didn't overthrow him. Yeah, well, they don't always work, right? Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. This one is shallow and short. And it bounces huh. forward not at all after wow. landing. <laughs> that, that, that makes it a terrible punt. Yeah. It just oh, made well. a divot in the ground, I guess, and then just stopped. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. 
So they have first and ten here. He'll pass on first down. Slings it to the outside. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't have much of a chance. A nope. Mark, oh, yeah, he threw it a little too soon and it missed the mark. That was absolutely what happened there. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely it. Yeah, I thought he was going to get sacked, so he threw it away and the uh, receiver got his feet cut out from under him just as he was trying to catch it. Oh. Back to the run again. Yeah, that guy's just too quick. Even if I beat my guy right away, yeah. he's just quick enough that it doesn't matter. If there's a hole that opens up in the line, I can't fill it. I think he's a good running back. I think that fumble was just uh, like a freak happenstance thing, you know? Yeah. The backs are lined up in an eye. The throw. Oh! Oh, oh well. well, I guess he can't catch, so... Yeah. The incompletion. You know that the defensive coordinator loves it. He can drop additional guys... Yeah, he probably should have caught that one, but... Yeah, he had it made after that blown coverage. Here's the punt. Andy waves for the fair catch. First and ten. Well, they got everybody on the line. Number six with a man in motion. Rowing. Oh, too bad. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have tried throwing that one anyway. Hey man, you're the guy who throws it into like quadruple coverage, okay? <laughs> what do you mean? That receiver was wide open. Yeah, okay. The visiting team come out on a dime package. Hmm. I think I might end up throwing too short of a pass to make a first down here. Or <laughs> just keep going to it all the time, all the time. What can I say? I like to throw deep. Well, let's see if you can get us a punt past the 50 here at least. He kicks a line drive. From the 20. Oh, he's trying to be slippery there. Yep. All right. It's first and ten. See, even if those passes are unsuccessful, they won't respect your ability to do it unless you try. Woo, you had to take out the garbage that time. Yeah, well, at least I was there to make it on time. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I think I'm going to be just switching over to just pure hard flats here. Too much nonsense. Yeah, it looks like the curl flat guy isn't just, it just isn't getting over there far enough, eh? coordinator would love to have on his team. He's smart, he plays with good intensity, and he's a heck 
Come on, May. And hands of stone. Yeah. Well, he didn't have much of a chance anyway. He's throwing that into triple coverage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that was a horrible pass. Yeah, well, I can't believe some of the passes they're throwing. Well, that's another fair catch. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little too timid about punt returns. Well, I think that uh, the punt re the punting game return-wise is pretty much a non-participant kind of a thing anyways. Hey man, we're the ones who discovered that you could return punts at the punt block formation. Yeah. Oh my god, look at Houston. <clears throat> I think that's okay. He's got three catches today. Looks like he's calling an audible. Gives the ball off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Yeah, well, I couldn't make up my mind. Do I want to cut outside here or inside, right? Yeah. Well, Green will get you what you need. Now you just get an easy dive, and then you're good to go. They might stop you, but it's not guaranteed. Come on, Martin. Yes! <laughs> wow, he broke into the second level there. Yep. Yeah, that was a good run. Huh. Oh, boy. Hey, look, even the ref's in on the action. See? The ref is their last yeah. man back. Yeah, he's playing middle linebacker back there or something. <laughs> hey? That's right. Middle ref backer. Oh, that's... That's gone. <laughs> yep. The MRB, middle ref back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you get one of those in the draft? Yeah, I don't know. I think you have to be the AI. I'm just going to let the clock run out at two minutes here. Not having a good feeling about this play? Well, I don't know. want to eat up the two minutes. It's kind of 50-50, and you know what? I would just as soon uh, eat up the two minutes. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was sitting there. I'm like, I know why he's paused. Looks to the 
Yeah, I was thinking about it, and there it is. <laughs> wow. Well, look at you had to look at the way they were lined up on defense, right? They had nobody deep. Yep. You know, like, you look at this way here, right? I mean, even this guy, he's a little ways off the line, but he's still cheated up quite a ways, and he's playing one deep. Yep. So he can't come over and help with this anyway. He's too far away. Yeah, he's probably not fast enough anyways. So, anytime they show me a look like that with this player, I'm going to take that shot. <laughs> now let's see if I can stop the unstoppable two-minute offense now. <clears throat> That'll be a challenge. Yep. I mean, that's just not situation. That's they didn't show any situational awareness there, right? Because yeah. I came out, I came out with five wide receivers, and if I were defending that, I would have been playing like a dime defense, and I would have had both safeties back deep, right? Well, they're obviously coming out passing now. Only one man in the backfield. Throwing on first down. Stepping up. Rosen. Perfect pass. Hank with the stop at the 30 yard line. Looks like he's calling an audible. Looks like they'll play bump and run on the outside. Pressure coming. Oh, that oh. block suck. <laughs> or block suck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then you almost got an interception on that anyway. <laughs> Number 50 there is just yar. Puts its secondary in better position to make a play on any kind of a run. Oh, he ran around you that time. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> Boston gets a sack. He's just the player that ended up in that position. Yep, when you called that audible, he was the guy, right? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. He just that took was... that snap and threw it away. Yeah, that was a very early throw, that's for sure. Here's what both teams have done on third down. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep... Well, that was pretty pointless. On the yep. Well, there you go. I managed to stop the two-minute offense for this time. This time. This one away. Now they're going to run the clock all the way down. Well, they're going to run it out as much as they can anyway. You want me to call a timeout? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm good. It's going to really put a hamper on your record if you don't score at least 58 points this game. Yeah, I know, but you know what? I'm only going to need one play anyways. I mean, if they present me with an opportunity to, I can score from anywhere on the field without very much time anyways. The big bomber ego. Yeah, I am the mad bomber. Looks like he's changing the play. Passing on first down. He's looking. Gets the pass off. Oh, good read. Good read. Finding a single coverage in the second. Calling an audible. Throwing on first down. Looking for a receiver with the throw. Oh, too bad. That's okay. It stops the clock. But a great defensive effort forces the incomplete pass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
think they got his own defense out there. Yeah. I don't know. Looks like if they bring pressure, I might be in trouble. We'll have to see. Well, you can't take him with you. I know, I think the best I'm going to be able to do here is maybe get close enough to kick a field goal, and that's going to be about it. Oh, no, I'm going to run out of time. Yeah. Um, I guess I shouldn't, I shouldn't have run it down to... <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. It happens, it happens. Now I get to return a kick. It's on its way. From the five. To the twenty. In the first half, the other team let their guard down and seemed unprepared for what they're doing. Well that's uh twenty nine. They made some adjustment, and they're gonna come out more focused now. The home team are dominated here early in the second half. So, John, it's very surprising how lopsided this score is. Sometimes only one team shows up really ready to play. Throwing on first down. He's looking on the move. He hits his receiver. Diving tackle at the 34-yard line. Good run, Emory. That's okay. Pick up five yards on that play. I'm all right with that. Well, it's a nice, easy completion for five yards. Yeah, they've been tough against me running, though, right? Like, they're just not letting me. Oh, here you go. Here's your chance to do something big. Well, see, at least they're leaving the safeties back, right? And that's 10 yards. Yeah. On a flat pass. Yeah, they, they have to play as a team, don't you know? That's that's really what they need to be doing. You know what? I think that uh, this is totally more a coaching problem than a team play problem. Ooh. We had a straggler come through there. Yeah, I think that was the middle linebacker, actually. Yeah, that guy's been a bit of a problem all game long, actually. Must be a decent player. He can explode through the hole, but he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. I mean, anybody that watched our last game will know that I'd rather run than pass, and I will run if they let me. Nice cut. This is a tough physical team that likes to run the ball in just about any situation. When you can run the ball consistently, it really wears down the interior line and helps to slow down those pass rates. What do we have going on here? This looks kind of like the same situation as the last time this happened, right? Just be careful because that middle linebacker might be sneaky. Yeah. No, he's got man coverage on that running back, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Defense, John, as they've averaged over eight yards per pass play on first down. And the scoreboard helps tell the story. Another run. Huh. Okay, well. Trying to move the ball on the ground. Well, whatever works, right? Yep. Will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Directing traffic. Calling an audible now. <laughs> this one is handed off. We'll feel that one tomorrow. Good old Martin. See, he was a brilliant convert to a fullback. Yep. And they get the ball inside the 24 to convert for a first down. And we can attribute this. 
seriously to their ability to I guess that's the thing that maybe you guys want to watch of watch for if you guys ever do play a cupcake team is uh your your real shit running backs who can't run at all and don't deserve to be a halfback on the team at all they might be a good fullback yep well especially because uh martin although he's not very fast he's actually a big halfback and he does also have decent hands and good agility characteristics too and yep. he was young so you know, age isn't something necessarily to waste either on a player when you can improve him, too. Yep. And he's really developed into something. Oh, Houston was wide open. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've been giving McCoy lots of work today, and I was just looking his way because he, well, I've been throwing the ball to him a lot, and he's been catching it a lot. So, Well, I guess he is Hudson's <laughs> replacement when Hudson eventually retires. <laughs> Although that won't be for quite some time yet. Yeah, well, I've managed to throw the ball Hudson's way a few times in this game, too. They're just giving away the run on the left. Ugh. Well, not really, <laughs> though. I mean, appearances can be deceiving, right? I don't know. Maybe somebody didn't get blocked there. Yeah. Well, it's funny, you know, like it looks like they're totally leaning to the other side, like both the line and the linebackers are shifted the wrong way. But then you actually try and go and run that way, and uh, you just can't, right? Yeah, I don't know. If I ever did that, I'd be a dead duck. I know that much. Oh! Oh, there's that linebacker again. Yep. I think that was a hit stick, too. Well, let's see how we do here. Looks like, uh, man coverage. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they had the one deep guy there, too. Yeah, I got lucky there. I guess I misread that a little. Well, you gotta give Benson his kicks, too. He's gotta have his, uh, his celebration, too. Wow, that was 14 plays. Yeah, I suppose you don't, you're not used to having to run 14 plays. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <clears throat> that being said though these guys haven't had a uh, major collapse in the third quarter like we see so often you know like they they basically fought me every inch of the way on that drive the quarterback lines up with two backs behind him oh Suction blocking. Oh my god, he got blocked by the same guy twice. Not only a suction block, but he got blocked by the same guy twice. I can't believe that. The corners move up to play this one tight. Out of the gun. Oh, he's going to run away. Oh, yeah. He ran away and then threw it back across the field. That's not a good idea either, eh? Yeah, it's never a good idea to throw the ball across your body like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the last time I threw an interception, I was trying to throw a pass like that, right? <laughs> I think that one was a <laughs> misinput, though. It was, but still. Crunch. <laughs> it's the fourth stop he's made today. There you go. <laughs> he's a machine out there. You know what? Like, after this, like, everybody we play is going to have one of the best punters in the league. <laughs> Yeah, but if everybody has the best punter in the league, then uh, won't none of them be the best punter in the league? First and ten. Fair point. Stay home, stay home. Wow. Despite wow. Really? Down, yep. Some teams <clears throat> well, well, I'm going to give this a... Uh, no, no, you're not. Yeah, no, I'm not. Well, I did manage to get a modest gain out of it. I can't believe they're still playing like that. If I'd have had time, I would have audible to a pass there, eh? Yeah, but you get robbed on turn to possession. Yeah, sometimes you just can't call the audible because they don't they don't, they start you off with twelve seconds on the clock when you line up. That corner's smart, though. Look at the way he changes his direction of pursuit just to catch up to you. Yeah. He's just an insufficient player for that position, unfortunately. Well, for the way they're playing him anyway, right? I mean, if you got a mismatch that bad, you got to just play a flat zone. Yeah, you got to keep them out wide, like what they're doing on this play, right? Like this play, what's going to happen is I'm going to toss the ball... And when I get to about the right hash mark, I'm going to have to turn and run straight ahead. Just because that corner is out there, and even if someone gets out there to try and block him, he's still providing the contain, right? Yeah, he, he prevents you from stretching the field. <laughs> exactly. I can't run toward the sideline because he's there. <clears throat> and I can't audible to a pass play that will take advantage like this because that guy's out wide, which means that Green's pattern wouldn't work, and quite possibly if I tried to throw the ball on the deep corner, that probably wouldn't work well either, right? And if the corner stays out wide, I can't throw that out to, to Hudson either. Yep. You know, it is. It's just a huge mistake to pull the to pull the corners in like that. You just shouldn't do that. <clears throat> well, we're gonna try and run the stretch with uh, gains here. Well, no adjustment. Oh my god, that yeah. is awful blocking. Yeah, basically, it's funny. You know, they usually like to target the safeties, and that time they just let him go when he was up close to the line, eh? Yeah. <laughs> because there was nobody in the next level to block. Looks like he's changing the play. Oh well, all that hard work is going to be for nothing now anyway. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Well, Houston still has it. He yep. hasn't he hasn't missed a step. Yeah, he's still a good player. He's got 80 yards in this game. Wow, look at that. You could make a first down without scoring a touchdown. Yep. But I think I'll score a touchdown here. Yeah, I think, I think White will, touchdown. Yeah, I think White will blow the doors off that guy and uh, just run away from him. As per usual. Business as usual. <clears throat> So if you keep this up, then you'll have a player of uh, the week again. Quincy White, Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, well, working on it. I think that was either his second or third touchdown in this game. Third, I think. 
Yeah, third, because he caught that long streak just before halftime, right? And that drive, John, is capped off with the touchdown. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. Booming kick downfield. From the four-yard line. The defense shut down the offense the last time they had All right. So when they come out in this, I know they're going to try to dick me around with the uh, tight end on the wrong side of the line and screw up my coverage scheme. Mm -hmm. Or rather, I just assume that they're going to try to do that. So what I do is I play a pure man coverage scheme. Yeah. And run the linebacker around the outside. Well, one thing you got to say is they never did give up on the run anyway. With a man in motion. Oh, there. <laughs> Cl close lines him. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely worth another look. He eh? just reaches out with one paw and close lines him. <laughs> oh, man. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. That's another user sack now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's having a good season too. He's got about five or six sacks so far in this this season. Yeah, he's almost getting a sack a game. That's pretty good for uh, a defensive tackle. But you know why I recruited him though? Because he's strong, right? He can overpower those offensive linemen. Yep. Oh, that was May that time had a chance at one. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, he he, he left his uh, magnets at home, right? Yeah. Well, he is a converted defensive lineman, too, so I guess his hands aren't going to be too great. Yeah, they're, they're hooks, and, you know, they just don't work, and he, he well, greases them up before the game to boot. Yeah, well... You know what? He's not there to be a pass defender See, if you, anyway. If you grease up your hands before every single game, it makes it more difficult to get holding penalties. Yeah. <laughs> so they have first and ten. <clears throat> Jeez, these guys. Well, he made a pretty good catch there. Yeah, I kind of forced that one a little, but I figured I would get away with it. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Number six. Sam Zeman in motion. Whoops. Okay, well I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> I tried to just send that guy back where from you're dead oh no you're not nope because i've got the outlet guy there eh? Well, <laughs> that linebacker stopped a little short of the sideline than i expected i thought that he was going to roll his way out there because he did make a sideways move at the start yeah well that's the weakness of curl flats though right Oh, he made it. Maybe. No, they won't give it to you. Yep, not quite. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Well, you get a chance to do it here. Yep. Yeah, if I can run into that big gap there. Manly makes the tackle at the 16. So he picks up about five on that run, moving the chains in the process. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. Well, that's the kind of back Gaines is. It's just what he's good at. Directing traffic. Yeah, I can't audible to the dive now. I don't have the right kind of people on the field. 
Oh. You don't trust Anderson to dive for you? I don't know whether he'd be the guy actually lining up. I don't really want to have to hand the ball off to a wide receiver or something dumb like that, right? Ah. Uh. Come out in a nickel package. Looks like he's calling an audible. Green, the man in motion. Well, okay, they're just not going to cover him. Dropping back. He's looking. Throws on the move. And oh, he dropped it. <laughs> that was as easy as they come. Yes, it was. That was as easy as they come. But... I mean, come on. You don't even have to make a hand catch there. You can make a body catch there. You're so wide open. There's nobody around you for five yards. What are you doing out there? <laughs> receiver he's scrambling around breaking free he's inside the tent get tackled by three guys the tackle at the four yard line right here is how he can hurt you they get him in a third down situation and if they can give him a lane to run through he's gonna take it and right there he takes it for a big first down yeah i figured why not well better than throwing an interception right yeah you know what this under these circumstances just might work maybe or not <laughs> just had a blocker miss that guy i'm pretty yeah. sure somebody was looking to him and just missed him i don't know toss plays are pretty hard to run successfully like the of that type yep i've never really had much luck with toss plays myself actually there is one that works pretty well and it's out of the uh i formation big yeah, that play is really good. Yeah, you know, that one I, I uh, have scored a couple of touchdowns on it in uh, uh, the last two seasons here, back when I was still on offense. But uh, I don't know. Overall, toss plays just, for the most part, don't work. It's, got, it's almost kind of like how uh, the single back big dive play works better than everything else. Well, the I formation big toss play works better than everything else. Yep. I wonder if that's just a little bit of scripting going on there on those plays or something. I really don't know. Because, well, another thing too is because that's uh, I formation big, you only have one wide receiver. And you can do things, especially if they show a man lock, you can do things like uh, toss it to the side where opposite where the wide receiver's lined up, right? Or light up a tight end out there. And the way that, yeah, or line, ugh. it was bound to happen. Or, yeah, like you say, put in a big package and have a tight end out there to run the corner off, right? Yeah, a mistake by the kicker on that one. That's totally what it was. Yeah, that's totally what it was. Oh, well. Yeah, the kicking game is hard. It's hard to get a decent kicking game going. Ooh. Well, we got the gang tackle still, and one more guy back there. Yep. So I'm okay with that. That was close, though. They were they were just a hair away from breaking that one. Yeah, he, he still would have had to break two tackles. It's fine. I'm not worried. Ugh. Ugh. I just can't shake that lineman. Well, I'll bet he's got the ball 20 times in this game so far. I got him again. Yep. I don't think he had time to go through his progression there, John. I can't believe how many sacks you get from the right side. Oh, there you got one from the left side now. <laughs> back to back. That yeah. was just a mirror of the last play I called. Yeah. They trade off, right? They're, they're not competitors, they're partners. Yep. Yeah. And struggles again as the punter heads in for the I've never had that much success pass rushing from the right side though like you do I don't know why 
I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the fact that uh, a linebacker, like, he's not necessarily faster than a defensive end, but he does have a bit more agility. Yeah. Maybe that has some sort of influence on it. Look at this, they're doing this again. Wow. Good catch by Kennedy. And he didn't fumble it after. Yeah. He might be the most accurate. It seems like just about every throw is a good one. He's not the kind of guy who's Well, you've been pretty stingy in this game. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to read those numbers. <laughs> yeah, I think you've held them to less than 100 yards total offense so far. <laughs> Here we go again. Do, 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 do. Right? Yeah. He, there just comes a time in your life where you have to ask your coach, what the are you smoking, man? <laughs> oh, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, but he was getting abused so bad out there. Yeah, it turned into a massive sack just because he was jammed to hell and back. Well, not only that, but they wouldn't let him go. He was further than five yards down the field, and they still wouldn't let him go, right? Well, if this was Madden 04, that would have been a... Uh, that would have been a pass interference yeah. penalty, yep. But they don't call those in this game. That's just pass defense. Surveying the field, looking deep to the right. What a catch. Easy. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Once again, he makes it happen while on the move. He's one of those guys who doesn't lose his accuracy or touch when he decides to throw it. Well, you know what? When you need a long first down, throw it to your best receiver. He's not the fastest receiver on the team, but he is still the best receiver, I think. And the best hands. I think uh, Houston is now the best hands on the team. He did actually get better at catching. He's actually better than Hudson now. Which is surprising. But he seems to have been improving a lot faster this season than normal, too. Well, that's because I throw to the wide receivers a lot. Well, there's oh. Gaines' 20-yard run of the game. Yep. <laughs> Here you go, ref. I'm going to go take a breather. <laughs> yeah, that was nice, actually. Look at that. See that Hudson turned around and he turned that linebacker back into the middle? Yeah, he actually blocked that guy for yep. once. And then uh, I've got the two fullbacks leading in front of me, and uh, one of them gets the corner, and the other guy gets the safety, and then I can run for a little ways before the rest of the defense can catch up to me. Let's get yep. Back to the action on the field. 12 yards needed to get into the end zone. Yeah, you see how they got the line shifted over there? And basically all they've got over there now is the safety and that outside linebacker, right? Actually, I think that's a corner. <laughs> oh, okay. Corner. Come on. Get over there. <laughs> nope. Ugh. I'm not sure whether that didn't work just because I ran the play badly or... or uh, I don't know, the AI likes to run toss and sweep plays. Most of the time it doesn't even work for them either. No. Actually, this here is probably my most successful run play that I've ever designed. Right? Just off-tackle run. Because you get a couple of lead blockers out in front of you there, and, uh, you know, it just it just works well. Yeah, it, it lines up well naturally. Yep. It's and it's not something too like uh, the halfback stretch can have a problem sometimes, where yeah. uh, it can be real inconsistent. So like sometimes you can get real big yardage on it, but sometimes you get stuff for a loss repeatedly. Yeah, well, the thing is with the halfback stretch too, you need to rely on a speedy player in order to run that. 
Yeah. With the throw, he finds his man. Easy. This is what good experienced receivers do. They excel when they're given the opportunity to make a big play. Well, I can't believe we're in the fourth quarter already. This game has just uh, flown by. Yeah, well, the thing about these guys is that at times they've given up big plays, but other times they've made me take 10, 12, 14 plays to move down the field, right? And uh, our time of possession in this one is going to be fairly high, right? <laughs> You're just dominating them out there. Well, that's a true, a true statement, I think. They're like, well, at least I have my salary. <laughs> yeah, I don't think these guys have won a game yet this season, too. I think they were like 0-5 or something when coming into this. I think our Dimebacks having a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, that guy ran backward a long ways after he caught that. Oh. Well, that's again. Oh, oh, oh I you stepped out I of bounds. Get him to stop. <laughs> oh, they're going to challenge it anyway. And I think they'll overturn that because it didn't look like a fumble to me. I think I think they'll overturn that and it'll and it'll be right. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I don't think it was a fumble. I think both both of his knees were down before a ball came out. I could see that. Oh well. You've had great luck with the fumbles and fumble recoveries in the last couple of games, though. Oh, they caught me mid-audible and then ended up getting screwed around. That's too bad. Too bad. Well, that's okay. Now you get to deal with one more gasp with the two-minute offense here. The ball is right at midfield. No, there was five guys in the area there. Yep. I can't believe that. No matter where they try to throw the ball, anybody they throw it to is outnumbered at least three to one. Well, this is what we're playing. It looks fairly thin, to be honest. Oh, that guy, he missed it that time, Lewis. He just missed it. He was in the path of that pass, too. He just reached for it and missed. Gets the pass off. Again, they're right. Double double coverage on that guy. It's a good job of reading the time and the play so the receiver can't make the catch. Right? Every, everywhere he throws, there's at least two players covering know, the guy. This, he throws this is to. all we're coming out in. It's just that. Yeah, but it's overlapping coverages though, right? Man and zone coverages. Yep. And you've designed your uh, mixed coverages in such a way that they overlap nicely, and you've always got two guys wherever wherever the offense throws the ball. You've always got two guys. Very rarely do you get caught in a one-on-one -on -one situation in pass defense, right? Drops back under pressure with the throw. <laughs> Jamie, oh no, that's uh, Seymour out there. No, that's Boston. 51, Is that Boston 51, out there? Yeah. Seymour's go, doing good work. Seymour's 50. Oh yeah, Seymour was doing the pass rushing there. Yep. I don't even know where my players are on the field anymore. I'm awful. <coughs> Whatever, I ran you, the scheme, it worked. Yeah, 
But you see what I mean? Even that, the, about the only time that you're occasionally going to get a one-on-one -on -one situation was like in that flat pass there, right? Yeah. And uh, if That's not a, even a huge thing to give up one-on-one. -on -one. No, because you had the safety and the corner both back there. Wow. Okay, you know what? We're pretty late in the game. I'm going to run this anyways. Because I don't think they're going to bother using any of their timeouts, so I'm just going to see if I can run the clock out here. Defense lines up in the nickel. Looks like he's calling an audible. If they'll let me. <laughs> if. Well, you know what? I mean, against this... It could go two ways, right? Either I'll get a couple of blocks and I'll manage to get around the right side and run for a long ways, or somebody will miss a block and I'll end up getting stuffed for a loss. But either way, I mean, I can't see them even bothering to call a timeout. There, see, I managed to get around the outside. Yep. Yeah, now they got absolutely no reason at all to call a timeout. Nope. No, I'm not even going to pretend to do anything other than just run the ball here. Great job of finding the running lane. When you're talking about execution in the running game, this is just the kind of thing you're talking about. <laughs> well, they held you to 52 points. <laughs> yep, my uh, average scoring per game is going to slide a little bit more. You're slipping. Looks like you're going to get your second shutout in three games, though. Yeah, thankfully. And, uh, they were a little fumbly all game. Yeah. A lot of problems holding on to the ball this team has. Oh, well. There you go. You, sh you shut them out. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. I wonder uh, what the offensive numbers that they had looked like. I think you were you played a pretty stingy game. I think they got if they they got less than 150 yards on total offense. I think we somehow managed to get no fumbles. Yeah, see, under 150 yards. <laughs> Completed a pass to seven different receivers. 100 receiving yards with two different receivers. Completed 80 percent of my passes. Wow. So there we go. So you held them to less than a hundred yards, both rushing and passing. <laughs> right? Like, oh, a, like I told you at halftime, you were playing a pretty stingy defensive game, right? Yeah, I guess these things just kind of work out sometimes. Yeah. And this turned out to be a pretty typical game for me, the way that I seem to be confronted with AI defenses, right? They work very hard at shutting down the run, and I end up passing, like, going wild through the air, right? Oh, you still got your 100 yards rushing, though. <laughs> yeah, well, by committee. It's just the modern rushing attack, that's all. Yeah. You did not allow them into the red zone again, right? Defensive red zone attempts, zero. <laughs> yeah, I think they only crossed midfield once. Yeah. But look at the time of possession too, right? We more than more than doubled their time of possession up. Yep. So, through for 409 yards, five touchdowns, completed 80% of my passes. Yeah, Gaines got 65 yards and Martin got a few and I got one. Anderson didn't do very well. He struggled. Yeah, that was he, on the uh He struggled in this game. Wide runs there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Look at that. Houston, White, and Hudson got a few passes this game. Coy. So, had a good game passing. There you go. Greg May with seven tackles led the way. He's doing his job, man. See, year of the linebacker. Yeah, he gets more tackles than Spoto does. And usually, <laughs> usually the guy who is the the guy I end up controlling on kickoff coverage is, ends up getting the most tackles in the game, right? 
Well, there you go. I guess it just goes to show how important the uh, outside linebackers are on this team. Yeah, because the two leading tacklers on the team were the two outside linebackers. Yeah, and then the nickelback. <laughs> yeah. And the inside linebacker. Yeah. Right? And then for tackles for a loss, well, Greg May, Jack Carey, because I was playing a lot of dime this game. Yeah. And uh, Tony Seymour. Backs, well, Seymour got two. He had a good game. Brooks got one, so that's me. May got one. Boston got one, because he ended up in the uh, outside position on an audible. Yeah, so that's four sacks by linebackers in this game. Yep. Which is why this is the year of the linebacker, right? Because I knew before we even started that the sack totals for linebackers would go up in this game, in this season because uh, you use your, your linebackers as pass rushers yeah. a, a lot. I look at all the pass deflections. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. They two, didn't. They four. didn't. They didn't really try and oh, you know, get carried away with the passing game though. Right. Uh, I I like how we have a uh, cornerback at the bottom of the pass yeah. deflection <laughs> chart. <laughs> yep. Just saying is all. Force fumbles. Seymour got one, and our Nickelback got one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Big. Although he's a little small. Oh, how big is he? Oh, he's, he's only 186 pounds. Yeah, yeah, he's not really a big guy. Yeah, he needs to work on he's his a, size. He's a coverage cornerback, though. That's yeah, what he well, started. He's there because I didn't have someone to fill them, fill the position yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what he started off life as, though, right? And then Grant Brown. Well, Grant Brown is 6'1". Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think Grant Brown got the defensive touchdown of the game. Yep. And if we take a look at uh, the individual stats for them... <clears throat> well, he completed 46% of his passes. Yep. But he only threw the ball 26 times. Surprisingly. Yep. And then they tried to run 19 times. I think that's a sack. Yep. Or that's so, that fumble. Yeah, they, that did, fumble. They, they actually did try to have a fairly balanced offense, you know? Like, they, they handed the ball off a decent amount of times... You just didn't let them have any yardage. Yeah, he didn't really actually even do that good either, as, as uh, spectacular as he seemed. Yeah. He uh, had a rather poor rushing average. Well, that's because he also had a lot of runs for losses, right? Spread the, the ball around a fair bit. Yep. For no yardage. Some decent averages when they did complete passes, but... Yeah, well, like I said, soul-sucking defense. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, they had the usual fairly high uh, number of drops. Number of drops too. Although that seems to be a characteristic of your defense, because uh, I rarely play a game where the opposing team has more than one or two drop passes. Right. Look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was all over the place. That guy caused me a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that's no wonder you couldn't run. Yeah. Yeah, he was everywhere. But that's the thing, right? They play well individually, but they uh, the, the plays that are called for them, like I was talking earlier in this game about how your defense rarely gets caught in a situation where you only have one defender covering a receiver, right? Like you have overlapping coverages, so you always outnumber the receivers at least two to one. Whereas... The way that the AI plays defense, they're, they're in one-on-one -on -one situations almost all the time, right? Well, I guess they didn't get the motto that in Madden, <laughs> it's not that there's uh, no team in I, it's that there's no I in team. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, who's the player of the game? Rec V5X. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I so, guess you didn't throw a uh, pick. Yeah, so I guess, I guess Quincy's four touchdown uh, performance was not enough to get him player of the game. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, I'm Rec V5. And I'm Sandman99, the Mad Bomber. <laughs> and I hope you guys had a good one. Yeah. <laughs>